Good morning. We're taking a look at guncalendars.com where we attempt to archive our daily firearms history. It's November 26th and we're taking a look at a couple of different things that we have on the calendar here. First, we'll uh, talk about the birth of Eugene Rising, firearms inventor, one of the few people who have invented firearms that the uh, U.S. government bought uh, or used. Uh, he invented the M50 Rising, which is a carbine not much bigger than an M1 carbine and uh, it uh, fires 45 ACP. I think the goal was to give it to the Marines uh, on the island campaigns during World War II. Uh, they could uh, use it in semi-auto as a 45 ACP carbine and then when needed they could flip it to full auto and sweep out maybe a tunnel or a cave or something as they were going through the islands. I don't think it worked as well as they would have liked but I think he has a lot, from what I understand, Rising has quite a reputation of being an excellent gunsmith and developer. So um, he worked with lots of different manufacturers and he has lots of different patents. Uh, if you know more about him, uh, let us know in the comments for sure. Uh, let's jump over to Dr. Mary White, who was the only female to have ever um, earned the Medal of Honor, our Medal of Honor. Uh, she was a, a medical student before the Civil War and then during the Civil War she served as a surgeon. Uh, she was captured by the Confederates and tortured a bit and uh, after the war was a champion for um, rights and uh, the rights of the soldiers as well as female rights and uh, did all kinds of interesting things in her life. Um, she was one of the females to push for the right to vote Unfortunately, she died before she ever had an opportunity to, uh, but she's a pretty cool chick and uh, for only female to have uh, been given the Medal of Honor. Uh, then we have friends, uh, Frank, uh, Mr. Bannerman, Frank Bannerman, uh, born over in Scotland uh, during the Civil War. His dad uh, went off and he had to, uh, Bannerman had to make do for the family. He did that by finding scrap and salvaging uh, that grew as a business until he uh, eventually was able to acquire pretty much everything from the Spanish-American War and at that point he uh, needed he had outgrown his multiple locations in New York City so he bought the island of Pompeo in the Hudson River built a castle warehouse on it and started a catalog well he had started the catalog earlier but he had also started a catalog and at the same time uh, one of the first catalog retail businesses uh, but also kind of led the way in that respects but also uh, the first to archive our military uh, history our, our medals and uniforms and gear and in his catalog he archived basically a collector's guide so he created not only the surplus store and the concept of repurposing, reusing, and uh, salvaging, but also the concept of um, remembering uh, the variances and the differences in our awards and our uniforms and our tack and our rifles and, and everything else. And he eventually uh, used his income and his, um, his wealth to travel the world and collect uh, weaponry from every era and from every corner of the planet. He brought them all together to New York in an open museum that not only was a museum, but also a store. So can you imagine an experience of walking into a store that had military weapons and all the accompanying equipment from all around the world, from all throughout time, except that instead of just going through the museum, everything had a price tag. So you could literally purchase anything you could afford. Uh, and then uh, again, it was all available in his, in his catalog and the catalog grew to 400 pages. Really cool dude. And he was born, or excuse me, he died on November 26th, uh, 1818. And that's when the work was stopped on his castle. Uh, lots of interesting stuff to talk about with uh, Mr. Bannerman. So we have a couple of interesting things to end out the month. Tomorrow is the date that they act like Bruce Lee died. Otherwise, uh, that's all we have for the month. So if you've got something uh, that we can add, our goal is to have something uh, for some, some piece of firearms history for each day of the year. So uh, please let us know. I have to shut that off and restart it so that we get our little wiggles back. Um, let us know in the comments if you've got something to add for the rest of the month. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in for this month's uh, on calendars.com.
We'll be back next month with more.